I'm Alice Osborne, and I'm here today with Mike Olson, one of the owners of Shirley J. And Mike is going to give us some in-depth information today on another fantastic Shirley J product, the white cheddar sauce. Can we say it's universal as well? Absolutely, very universal. Exactly okay. like our universal uh, cream sauce okay. in its applications, actually. So. Okay. Well, tell us about that. What makes it so universal? Well, let me let me tell you a little bit about the sauce itself first. Okay. I, I love this sauce. I love this product so much. It's one of our, I think, one of our little treasures. Uh, I love it because of the flavor of it and the ease and the versatility. Let me let me just back up. When you make a, a white sauce, Alice, at home, what's the first thing you do? Oh, well, I melt some butter. And then I add the amount of flour the recipe calls for. I think that's called a roux or something. Right, right, right. Stir, right. stir, stir, melt, melt, melt. Right. And then it says to add some liquid, usually cream or milk. Mm -hmm. That's and right. And that's where I really start to fumble. Things get kind of curdly or and something. And most people do because if you add the milk too quickly, the sauce will fail and lump. If you add it too slowly, it takes you forever. Right. And it breaks and curdles. The sauce is a very delicate sauce. Okay. One of the great things about our sauce line, our universal sauce as well as our white cheddar sauce, is that they're very, very simple and easy to use. Mm -hmm. You don't have to melt butter. You don't have to add flour. You don't have to add cream. You don't have to go to the grocery store and buy all those products. And wow. you don't have to work with them for hours on the stove to create this delicate sauce. Well, now, that's the other thing. I always had to babysit it. You do. You do. And then if you're making a cheese sauce, if you're making macaroni and cheese or one of your favorite casseroles, or potato uh, au gratin, any of those au gratin dishes, mm -hmm. the next thing you have to do is add cheese to that, right? Right. And, th and then you have to stir it again, and the cheese has oil in it that separates, and uh -huh. all kinds of problems can happen when you make a, an au gratin sauce at home. Our white cheddar sauce is simple. You just add water to it, put it on the stove, stir it quickly, the product dissolves in the water, and you bring it to a simmer, and you're done. Really? And you're done. And not only are you done quickly, the end result is as wonderful a white cheddar sauce as you'll ever taste. Well, let me ask, does it scorch? Because mine scorches when, you know, when I'm making from scratch. You know, Alice, it, I mean, you can burn anything, but this, this product is very resilient to that. Okay. When you make your, your sauce at home, you melt the butter and add the flour to it, and it coats your pan with a film that scorches very easily. Okay. as you found out by yeah. making it at home. Yeah. Our product, when you stir it in with water, it's a, it's a liquid product, very very quick and easy to use. And you can actually stir it in and leave it. And uh, it, you know, if you make sure that it doesn't boil over, you could just leave it unattended for, for a long time and it would never burn because <laughs> it's just so easy it's, to use. It's, uh, it's exactly like the universal sauce mm -hmm. uh, in, in any uh, of our application way so and, and all the the benefits of use so if you want to freeze the product if you want to use it directly out of the cooler from from cold state if you want to microwave it if you want to if you want to cook this um, uh, bake it in an oven say you're making as I mentioned our gratin potatoes if you want to put this in your gratin potato recipe put it in the oven and boil it, uh -huh. bake it for hours if you needed to, uh, the product would never compromise or break. Wow. So, yeah, any, I mean, you really can't ruin this product. It, it, it'd take a lot of effort to, to, to ruin our product. I it's love that. just so easy to use. What about adding acidic foods like, say, tomatoes to it? Sure. Would that separate? Sure, it? and again, going back to your homemade sauce, if you're making a homemade sauce and want to add tomatoes to it, almost instantly it'll curdle because oh, of the yeah. acid in the in the sauce. It's, it's so a disaster. If you wanted to make a beautiful um, a creamy tomato sauce with a cheddar flavor, this would be a wonderful like a pasta sauce. Uh, this would be a great thing to do. Just make our sauce and add a little bit of tomato sauce All to right. it, uh, uh, depending on your own recipe or desire. Uh -huh. And again, you can hold it forever and it would be just beautiful. Never have to curdle or worry about curdling. What are some favorite recipes you like to make with it? What what do you do with this? I'll tell you, the, I think the most popular use for this, and it, it sounds kind of funny, but the most popular use for this product is simply as an Alfredo sauce. Okay. By itself with the addition of nothing else. Mm. It's really got a beautiful little uh, dry cheddar flavor 
that really imparts a, a great feel of a great Alfredo sauce. Okay. And you can also use it for things like nachos. You mm -hmm. can use it for a, a great queso dip, Ooh, um, macaroni and cheese. And you can add more cheese to it if you want, or you can leave it exactly like it is. Uh -huh. You can take it down so many different roads. Well, uh, what about its nutritional value? If you make a white sauce or a cheese sauce at home, you're going to be talking about four to 600 calories per cup. Yeah, that's depending true. Depending on your recipe, per mm -hmm. cup of finished product. Now, we all love those sauces and we love to eat them and the reason we do is because they're, they're so tasty. Yes. And the taste uh, has a has a drawback and that's the, the, the bad calorie count and other things that happen with uh, with those scratch sauces that we make. Mm -hmm. Our product, if you, if you uh, were to make one cup of our product, it has 170 calories. In addition to that, no trans fats, no added MSG, no hydrogenated oils. There's the calorie savings right there. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's an amazing product. And we formulate our product using heart-healthy sunflower oil. Wow. Sunflower oil is, uh, is, a, is a really great uh, heart-healthy oil that's high in omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. Mm. And, it's, uh, and it's just, it just makes it that much more healthy. Okay. And and, ease, and and if you combine that with the ease of use and the and the versatility, I mean, you've got a winning product. Hasn't this been fun? Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to learn more about this great product. Now, if you're interested in more information on Shirley J, this product and others, and if you want some recipes to go along with with how to use this product, just go to the website shirleyj.com. Well, until we meet again, thanks so much for joining us and happy cooking.